Hello everyone, myself Aviksha Kapoor. In this video, I am going to present a demo of my project. Titled Efficient Redundancy Removal of URLs from Fetch List in Web Crawler. I am using an open source crawler Apache Nudge 1.9 and Eclipse Luna IDE for showcasing my project. Before starting the demo, I will explain to you briefly about the Nudge architecture. First of all, we give a seed list of URLs. Uh, that is the initial list of URLs we want to inject into the crawl DB. After that, we generate a fetch list. That is the list of URLs to be fetched from this crawl DB. Crawl DB is a kind of database which stores the info about the already discovered URLs, whether crawled or not. After this, we fetch the content from these URLs. We pass this content to get the outlinks uh, from all these pages. And then we update the crawl DB with the new outlinks. Now, once again, we generate uh, a new segment in the next iteration. Now, this is our focus of optimization here. We are uh, currently using an approach without bloom filters here in Nudge. But I have proposed an approach of using bloom filters. We will come to it later. Where is the generator? The main purpose is that it should produce a non-redundant fetch, uh, fetch list. That means it should not have any duplicate URLs as well as it should not have any URLs from the previous iterations that have been crawled in the previous iterations actually. So now we will start with our project. This is our Eclipse IDE and first of all here we have taken a seed list of URLs uh, that is only one URL we have taken www.cic.gc.ca. We will start by inject operation iteration 1. Next step is generate. It took 5 seconds. So we will update this data in an Excel sheet. 5 seconds. And we will also see the size of temp.txt file uh, which stores the The number of URLs in the fetch list, which is one currently, which is the seed URL we have given. So after this, the fetching operation. It took 7 seconds, then parsing, then updation. Now again, we in the next iteration, we will generate a fetch list. This time it took 3 seconds. So we will again update our uh, Excel. And now we will see the size of temp.txt that is the number of URLs in the um, fetch list. A 
it is 5 now since fe uh, fetching passing and updation approach uh, processes are not our focus of concern right now and also uh, the fetching operation sometimes take more than an hour so i'll copy them from the already stored files these uh, this is the crawl db and these are the different segments generated again update the crawl db after the second iteration as you can see it took one second uh, again for the third iteration now we'll generate a fetch list it took three seconds we'll also see the size of temp.txt generated it is 64 we'll uh, write it in our excel sheet 3 and 64 So now again for the third iteration we will copy the parsed and fetch data from the Now we will update the database again. took one second again now starting with the fourth iteration we will generate a new fetch list it took four seconds now we will see the size of temp.txt storing the results of already fetched urls Is 505 so we'll update our excel sheet again 4 and 505 now again copying After this, we'll update our database. The crawl DB.
स्टार्टिंग विद द फिफ्थ हाइड्रेशन नाउ टू की इलेवन सेकेंड्स सो राइट हेयर इलेवन एंड नाउ विथ साइज सी द साइज ऑफ टेम डॉट टी एक्स टी दैट इज टू वन नाइन फोर टू वन नाइन फोर अगेन कॉपिंग सी कॉपीड ऑल द डेटा नाउ अपडेशन आफ्टर द फिफ्थ हाइड्रेशन apply and run generation of fetch list for the sixth iteration It took twenty six seconds now. Uh, so first we'll update uh, crawl db. Uh, sorry, the Excel sheet with twenty six. And here we'll write the number of urns, which is. Seven three nine five. So clearly, we have recorded all the values, the statistics, without using Bloom filter. Now next, we'll see this using Bloom filter, and we'll prove how using Bloom filter. the generation step at each iteration takes lesser time than the native approach in math now i have recorded the results with using bloom filter i started the first iteration by injecting that same url into my crawl db then the generator step it took 3 seconds as compared to 5 seconds in the approach without bloom filter then i updated the crawl db after first iteration after that in second iteration my generate step took 3 seconds same as that of without bloom filter even in uh, fourth iteration it uh, third iteration sorry it took 3 seconds uh, same as bloom filter after that again the results were same the results were same but in the final iteration that is seventh iteration the approach with bloom filter used 25 seconds and without bloom filter it used 26 seconds finally now i have recorded the difference in both the approaches the generate step has took 5 seconds uh, without bloom filter and 3 seconds with bloom filter 
after this as we can see in some steps it, ta it takes as much time as without bloom filter but in the final step when the url size has become very large then it took one second less than the native approach of nudge